Hello, this is Mr. Early, and you're watching my Minecraft Mods Let's Play. Uh, this is now version 1.46. I'm mainly using the uh, Direwolf 20 mod pack. And uh, as you can see, I still have my old world. Um, I'm sorry f it took so long to get uh, like uh, new episodes out for 1.46, but I was really ambitious and I went crazy with making videos before. And it kind of kicked my own butt because uh, now I have uh, um, 1.46 videos out long after uh, it uh, was released. So let's get straight into it. Um, I want to show you some things that have uh, changed. And uh, so right away when I was fixing my world... Um, Probably, as you know, like thermal expansion has new ores, also uh, red power is in. It has all the really cool stuff uh, like the ores in there, marble, which is one of my favorite building materials. It's not going to be in this world. So I wanted to include Mistcraft and uh, make sure it works so all my books are there, they all work. Um, right away when I started playing with this world uh, in 1.46, uh, my railcraft system didn't seem to work uh, so I did a quick fix here I'll just quickly demonstrate what it's going on so so let's lay these down right by the torches as you can see they're powered uh, let's make a quick little loop here so uh, okay let's demonstrate this here uh, you can right click a uh, minecart and railcraft to give it a little boost and as you see when it hits the powered booster rail it uh, doesn't work anymore um, let's pick up the torches and put them back and and nothing doesn't work at all so for whatever reason in the direwolf 20 uh, mod pack your rail contraptions aren't going to work so I improvised uh, I tried using holding rails that are powered and they behave just like booster rails except they're not broken so I used creative mode and uh, switched out all my booster rails just so my quarry could keep running and as you can see my my rail cart is just happy so I'm just going to keep this the way it is for now. Uh, still unloading items. Oh yeah, logistics pipes now has these little twinkly uh, pipe effects. So when items go back and forth between it, um, they glow. And also, uh, they're not interacting very well with the, uh, uh, what do you call it? the recycler um, they're actually filling it up uh, and putting stuff in the output slot which is quite annoying so even though that these are entering from the top for whatever reason the output slot on the recycler still can be interacted with which is kind of annoying um, Okay, yeah, I built recyclers. That's new too. Uh, this uh, is shortly going to be ripped out. I'm just waiting for my lava to um, get used up. If I pick up these now, the the 20 or 30 so buckets that are in here are going to be used up. Well, actually, it's not that many. Probably about five or so. Um, so now I'm building a new power system up here. And uh, speaking of which, I need my jetpack. Uh, and I'm really full. Oops. Oh yeah, the mode button's changed now too. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to make a stack of geothermal generators on this end probably uh, three on this side, three on the back, and three on this side. Um, that'll provide quite a lot of power, but uh, 
each geothermal is only about 8 uh, EU per tick so it's still not a lot of power but it'll be pretty good for now uh, I wanted to get into something completely new and uh, also involving my my railcraft system that uh, I haven't used before and in order to get into high speed rails and multiple minecarts using the same track um, on a high speed rail that's a recipe for disaster so I wanted to get into uh, signals block signals so first of all I'm going to need to make a bunch of these signal lamps so I'm thinking I'm going to need uh, one, two, th about six of them. So I need glass. I'm going to clean up here a bit and be right back. Oh yeah, did I mention that red power is installed? Well, let's use it. Um, <laughs> exciting. Let's do about three of these and get one of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, blocks. Uh, so I need a bench and our crafting table and yeah I need a little bit more wood and then we combine the wood with the crafting table and a chest with some smooth stone give me the project table hooray so this one in the middle I'm gonna remove right now okay ah uh, this is so good okay I'm gonna put all this stuff I'm gonna need for later in here first of all I'm gonna upgrade uh, these two um, oh right, that's the wrong way to do it. Request pipes. So I'm going to need three of these for my various uh, systems here. So um, let's take these out. Uh, put them there, there, and there. And knock out this one. Oh, the nice thing is, is that uh, good old buildcraft pipes take a little bit more uh, um, uh, durability before they break, so they're not instantly one punch, it's destroyed kind of thing. And uh, the little sparks mean that it's active. Uh, Oh, also there's uh, another thing to note here. Um, you see these ones in the background. They have the green dots on the corners and the green line in the middle. That means they're connected. Uh, on a longer length, you have uh, basically the green connection there, uh, the green line, and another stretch of pipe in between and another line here so these two are connected even though there's different build craft pipes in between um, now what's going on here which is quite interesting is I have the red uh, dots on the outside and the red in the middle here so what this is telling me is um, these are connected with the green but they're not powered with the uh, uh, whatever this is called the the junction box so let me put this back on and now they all turn green so that means they're receiving power and they're ready to go uh, I'm gonna upgrade these other two to the um, to the project table because it's my favorite and I'll be right back okay ready with my project table um, first of all how do I do this use um, I want to know how to make a template
Oh, there it is. Oh, with Indigo Tie. Oh. Okay, I gotta go get some oatmeal and get some blue flowers. I'll show you how that's done. Okay, just gonna use a little bit of bone meal on the grass here and there's an indigo flower. Uh, that's pretty simple. In case you don't have a uh, vanilla biome uh, that's newly generated with red power of course but you should be able to find those pretty easy so um, what you do with these is you turn them into indigo dye perfect let's go back to this one. Oh yeah put one in there with this um, let's make a bunch right away so first of all I want to build uh, what's called a receiver circuit so I need redstone repeaters and put this in there and so you hit this button and it scribes it so redstone repeaters um, I could add that to my logistics system but this will do for now so I think I need like one um, let me get some more smooth stone. One stack of that should be good enough. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Redstone, please. Yeah, this is, I miss this so much. Uh, let's just go like this. 64. So yeah, you can leave it the plan in here and then grab as many as you want for it to work. Okay, I got the controller circuit. Uh, since this is fairly complicated one too, I'm going to scribe this one. And uh, I'm going to need a few of them. So I'll take four for now because that's what I got. Okay, here's the other plan I need for signal lamp. So I'm gonna want uh, quite a few of these so for now I'm pretty sure it's about six that I need so I'm gonna grab them all um, okay um, so the next part is I want to combine controller circuits with these iron ingots so many steps with uh, do do And then two of these controller circuits. What did I do wrong? Oh wait, there's one more recipe I have to do. This is the opposite one. I need receiver circuit, so I need more um more of this other one. So let me take uh these out. And I'm gonna need repeaters some gold, some iron ah there it is so oh man I'm gonna need a few more of these let me make a plan of this one too because I'm not gonna remember write that one in take another one of these so I need lapis and uh, slam balls and there they are is this gonna work now? yes uh, made the plan for that um controller circuit receiver circuit okay now I have some of each let's go back here controller controller receiver uh die let's get this out of here 
Um, it bothers me. Yay, dual head block signal. And of these ones, I'm only going to need uh, two, I think. Dual head block. And then I'll need a simple block signal, which is both a controller, sig controller circuit signal lamp. So it's like half of the recipe, like so. Um, one, two. Waka waka. I think I got what I need. Wait, I want these down here. Okay, next part, I'm going to need a... Uh, Wow, I don't remember which one is which. The signal receiver block, signal controller block. I think it's this one. So I need two receiver circuits and some redstone. Luckily, that's what I have. Um, oops, redstone. And another stack of iron. Iron. Since this one's pretty simple, I only need two of these. Okay. Let's uh, go build it. And I gotta need some planning, so I'll be right back. Okay, I kind of forgot I needed two more little items. Uh, these are fairly simple to make. Uh, so compass, glass pane with some buttons, and a piece of redstone give you the signal block surveyor. The next item I need is uh, a receiver, but uh, I forgot the recipe. So it's this uh, signal tuner, which is a receiver circuit with some torches and a couple of wee buttons. Just gonna make them in here. Uh, what did I forget? Receiver signal. Oh, maybe it has to be up here. Yes. Okay, now I think I'm ready. So the one down here, uh, specifically. Oh, right. I need this to be powering this. I think it's time to get into a proper junction for Railcraft 2, so... Sorry, I have to take this little little tangent, so... TRE. Um, I need the switch track, which is... Oh, that's pretty simple. Rail beds. Thankfully, I have all this stuff already made. Okay, I'm going to make my switch tracks. I found my rails. So, I'm going to just make some of these rail beds. Oh yeah, I made another project table. Because I loved them so much. Yeah, and then you'll complete it with this. And you get this. And it's wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so how you use um, this stuff. Well, it's kind of like this, and then you slap it down, and like so. Yeah, that should work. Um, excellent. Okay, at least the, the orientation is going to be a little bit different now. And over here, I'm going to need a holding track, so I have some more of those made right here. Oh, my cart's coming. Ah, oh, it's going to get derailed. No. Oh, the humanity. Move it. Be gone with you. So, uh, for now, I'm just going to leave a lever here to keep it powered. I don't need to signal anything quite yet. Um, this is where I'm going to need my first signal. 
probably the second block here. Um, this one is not linked up yet, so that's why it's got the double flashing red. Um, I'm going to walk down there and set down the other one. Okay, I'm going to set this one here. So that's uh, double flashing red as well. Um, I really should test this before I do any more. Okay, welcome back. This is my little test area. Um, I went a little crazy with the torches, but... Okay, I have a little setup here of what I want to do. Um, I have a nice little creeper train. These guys volunteered to help me out. Um, these are the guys that I wanted to sequence. So you need to pair up a signal uh, block with another signal block like this. Um, but I also have uh, this pair over there um, also linked with this one. So it's a lot of information, but I'll try to uh, describe it in a way that I can. Um, you notice the lights right now on here, they change color. So what it means is if there is a, a cart um, not on the track at all, it'll be green. If there's a cart on the track, but it's going away from the signal, it'll be yellow like that. If there's a cart in the track and it's coming towards the signal, it'll be red. So what I want to do is link my two tracks that I have um, so that they're treated as one single track. Uh, this all sounds very complicated, but this setup is going to work. Okay, here's the basic premise of what I want. Uh, it's kind of going the correct way. So, they don't actually go until like the track clears, but it's still not exactly what I want. Okay, I finally have some results. It's taken me a while. I just ripped things apart and put them back together until I figured it out. Anyways, what we have going on here is um, a pair of receiver blocks, boxes, what are they called? Re signal receiver block box. And then we have a red power AND gate here. Um, there's actually three inputs on a red power AND gate, so I have an extra torch here just to activate this uh, final one. Um, I guess you could put like a, like a cutoff switch here too. Um, because if any of these torches here are on, it's not going to work. So this receiver box is paired with this one. No. Um, opposite. This one is paired with that one. And the green one is paired with that one over here. Uh, same things going on this side. So let me demonstrate what's going on here. Um, this minecart's blocking the track, so the creeper train can't start. So I'm going to remove this cart, and now the creeper train starts. Now if I put it back here, this one is red, so it won't allow the creeper train to go. If I remove it, it'll get the run signal again. Now if I put it back here, those ones are red again, or the one side is red, so it won't start. Uh, same thing, let me let the train go by. Uh, same thing on this side. If the, the track is blocked, um, nothing can go through. So I think I finally figured out what I need. So I need AND gates, I need um, at least four of these receiver boxes. I don't need the dual head um, boxes, but I can use them anyways. Um, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go back to my world, now that I know what to make. Okay, I'm back. Um, first of all, I needed to uh, make some basic uh, red power circuit stuff. So uh, let's look up the recipe for the AND gate. I need a couple stone wafers, 
few of these stone cathodes, um, stone anode. Um, I think I actually got everything I need right here. There we go. Except I need two of them, so. Okay, I made myself a link between both both ends. And uh, this is where it's going to go. Um, actually, I could place it right up against the track, too. And that should work. Um, put two of these signal receivers there. And the last uh, can be powered by a torch or a switch. Let's use the switch. Oops. All right. Um, use this signal tuner, and this uh, close one will be with this one here. I never tune these uh, either, so this one will have to be tuned to that one over there. So that's green. Oh, I gotta move those torches so I can actually see the signal. Um, and then this one will be paired with one over there which I haven't placed down yet. I think I gotta put it about here. Yeah, okay that's good. Now I'm gonna have to like increase the size of this little landing pad here because I want to have different functions happen and I'm gonna like uh, expand this a bit but I'll do it off camera okay uh, I'm back I didn't know how hard this uh, railcraft uh, signaling would be but uh, it's something I couldn't do and record at the same time but um, it seems to be working good except uh, the problem being is if the area is not chunk loaded these these uh, signal detectors don't actually pick up uh, pick up the carts uh, on the track so you have to have the length of uh, track uh, chunk loaded while you're um, while you're doing this and my problem right now is I don't have enough uh, well ender pearls to chunk load everything actually only two each. Well, I guess I can do it. Um, let's see. So one, two. Now the sentinel is a little different. I think it's like this. Nope. One, two. Okay, I got enough. Okay, I got my uh, world anchor. I'm going to put one in the corner by my logistics system. And I think it do... no. Oh, no way! The r they consume ender pearls now? That... What? That's ridiculous. Huh. Well, okay, 12 hours. 12, like, physical hours or, like, in-game hours? I don't know. Must be, uh, real hours. Oh, well, like, uh, put down the world anchors, uh, killed an extra enderman. Uh, one of them killed me. But, uh, now we're able to see the, uh, the aura for the tracks. I don't think we should have any uh, collisions anymore. Which is good. Um,
Yeah, so this area behind the track is trunk loaded. So we should never have any collisions again. And this area will, the carts will stay trunk loaded. So I'm quite happy with that. But I'm going to need a source of ender pearls. Um, those uh, trunk loaders should last for a long time without uh, getting a second ender pearl. But um, yeah. 11 hours so it's it's real-time hours well I got my quarry back up and running uh, add some more fuel cans <clears throat> I was thinking of automating like the uh, adding fuel to the combustion engines but they last for a really long time like it's almost a complete quarry anyways uh, it looks like uh, my item lo loaders are going to be working pretty good. Let's uh, help out this uh, machine a bit. Here come the carts. Uh, yeah. I never figured out what I'm going to do about this when the uh, second cart comes. Uh... I guess I could put like a holding track there and uh, with like an inverted signal I guess it wouldn't be hard to do just a simple knock gate well let's give it a try and then this is the cart detector And then I need uh, these holding trucks. Let's uh, make uh, what's called a knock gate. Um, that's pretty simple. This, 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 this. Um, these, the cathode, and knock gate. Okay, there we go. Track is replaced. And we have a holding station. Now let's see how easily we can rebuild it. And not gate there. Okay, I'm back. I got my piece of redstone. Gonna put in the track beside the not gate. So if uh, there's a cart sitting at the at the point here, let's make this nice and full so we can see. Um, just drop off all my crapola. and wait for the carts to come back so this one's red that one's turning red now so that means they're they're both like in transit here they come so this is gonna have a longer load and that one's gonna have to wait excellent it's exactly what I wanted Woo! I think we're in time for high-speed rails but I gotta take a break I've been recording for a little while, so um, thank you for watching, and sorry, cart, get out of my way. I think it's pretty fun. It's a hard project, but it's still, like, worth it, in my opinion. And that's just counting down slowly. Good thing I have a lot of time to get another enderpearl, otherwise this would be horrendously difficult. <laughs>